I talked to a couple potters uh, there at the festival. They had a, a shop there, a kiln, uh, and were doing uh, demonstrations and, and works in front of an audience. I talked to Jean Davenaugh. Uh, she's from New Jersey and came to Florida in 1998. I graduated from high school in 69, and then I went to college uh, for a couple of years. And I wanted to major in history, but that, you know, they just wasn't going anywhere, and I'm terrible at math. <laughs> so I was thinking college wasn't the thing for me, and I came home at the end of uh, one semester, and I, a neighbor of mine said, oh, there's this lady, she's like opening a pottery studio, let's go take classes. And I stayed there for 15 years as her apprentice. And uh, now I've been at it for 36 years. The mushrooms and the little sponge holders are what used to be called in the art world as pot boilers. You sell most of them, so it keeps the pot boiling. Okay. The other things, I don't know, I like to do a lot of different things. I don't like to stay, you know, you see a lot of potters, they do all these mugs and they're all the same color, all the same design, shape, everything, you know. That's boring for me, so I keep doing different things. Okay. So, um, what, what uh, drew you down here to Florida? Uh, my husband wanted to come down here. <laughs> okay. Always a man. <laughs> I don't know. He, he wanted to retire and he wanted to go someplace warm. So, and my parents were down here. My parents are from the South. Uh, the reason I was in New Jersey is my father was in the Navy and they sort of bought property there and, you know. But after they, after he retired, they came back down south. Okay. So, and my husband wanted to come down here. He liked it down here. I like it here too. Where are you at in Florida? Oh, about two miles from the north gate of this park. <laughs> <laughs> good place to be. Cause yeah, you're, are you here all the time then? A uh, good deal of the time. Okay. I actually homeschool my daughter out here at the park, and she knows how to do just about everything all the other crafters do. Okay. Because she'd finish with her lessons and then she go over and see Linda and make candles and she go down if there was a blacksmith she'd go down and she actually knows how to smith. Uh, she knows how to do stained glass. So she's actually more talented than I am I think. <laughs> Miss Davenaugh's apprentice uh, was named Deb Odom. Uh, she's a potter in training and um, was soaking up a lot of knowledge uh, with Jean. I am the potty, the potter in training. Okay. My mom says I've gone to pot. <laughs> yeah. So what, what draws you to this kind of work? The creative process of going from a lump of mud to something you know, just that you can see and touch and feel and use and enjoy. And just, I just, I, very motivated by it. Okay. It's, it's it's so much fun, and it's just always such a surprise because you never know exactly how it's going to turn out, no matter what your vision of it is. It's, like, it's a secret every time, a secret and a surprise. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I take a piece of clay and it kind of speaks sometimes. Well, it looks like there's a lot of whimsy in the work in there. That's fun. Lots of buck teeth and funny eyes. Oh, she makes those beautiful, wonderful jug faces. They do. They're just there's so much history to those and just. Yeah, they're a delight. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got a couple of hers at home. They're just, they make you smile. Mm -hmm. hey, isn't that what art's supposed to do? Make you feel good about something? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think. Or feel something, whether it's good or bad. I did pottery years ago, and it's one of those um, skills and crafts and, and art that is not a put it down, pick it up mm -hmm. kind of thing. You've got to be able to hang with it and attend to it over you know, weeks of time. And so it's been a, a dream to be able to come back to it. And I retired two years ago and moved back to the Sirius where I grew up and met her through the class here at the park. And mm. you know, as I say, the rest is history. She's allowed me to, to use the studio and, and learn with her. Now, one other question for you, Jane. Has, uh, has moving to Florida changed your work at all? Sure, I put palm trees and flamingos on a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think all potters are kind of like, you know, they're like Christmas freaks, you know, because when you open a kiln, it's like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Did you get what you want or didn't you? <laughs> <laughs>